Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have Acer laptop computer, and the story behind of this is my client spilled water while he was using it. And right after the water was spilled, he said the computer lasted maybe about five to eight seconds, and it shuts off on its own. So that story tells me he was using the computer, middle of something, he grabbed the water, or accidentally maybe the cat knocked the water down, the glass of water, and it spilled on the keyboard, right? So the first thing I realized when I open it up, I can see that there's a water stain here. You might be able to take a look here as well. The function key windows is wet, and the screen on the other side is wet as well. So, um, and he told me that the computer was on when the water spilled. Before he got a chance to turn it off, the computer just turned off on its own by itself. So what I'm gonna do is I wanted to take it apart and this is gonna be, you know, live. I mean, not live video, but we're gonna go through this all together the same time. Um, let me show you the model here. So this is Acer model number N18. Q13 or the Acer Aspire A515-55. All right, I haven't taken this computer apart before, and so we'll be doing this all together at the same time. And I believe this is a 2020 model, a year. Uh, sorry, the year 2020, March 16. That is the manufacturer date. All right, so here I have the uh, electronic screwdriver. Um, I'm gonna kind of tired of using the regular one, so I upgrade myself with this electronic screwdriver. Uh, it's pretty good. I like it so far. I've been using it for maybe about a week now. Uh, so far has been uh, really good. I like it, you know. Um, and I, if you are a tech guy and if you're a repair computer shop guy, and you wanted to, you know, switch from a regular a Phillips screwdriver to electronic screwdriver I would definitely recommend you to do that and if you want to ask me where you can get this one I got this one from Amazon I pay like about $30 uh, it has a lot of bits on it so this is the common bits that I use here and they do comes with uh, another stack of uh, a long stack of uh, uh, drill bits right here not the drill bits like uh, a different different um, bits for you like torque um, you know Phillips and uh, flathead so they have all different kind for your repair if you need uh, this one it is a rechargeable battery it doesn't use any uh, AA battery or anything it's a rechargeable battery and at the back here, this is where you plug in the USB-C to charge it. Uh, if you really like it, I have it in the description below. I'm not trying to promote. This is not a sponsor, sponsor video or anything. I just feel like I'm sharing my experience with you. Um, you know, I, I open computer a lot in a day. So electronic screwdriver is a lot better. Okay, so I have the screws removed. They're all Phillips screws. Uh, let me try to get to the back plate and see what do we find here. I wonder if we need to remove this. It looks like we need to remove this plastic. The back plate doesn't seem like it want to come out. So let me see if there's any screw hidden underneath here. It doesn't seem like there's any screw hidden underneath. Yeah, it cannot be this difficult. It's got to be something hit underneath the rubber. It doesn't seem like it. I don't see any screws on underneath. Let me try other side here. Okay. Maybe you should try from the other side to remove it. Let me recap. So once I remove the screws and 
there's nothing hidden underneath the rubber so once you remove all the screws and you can actually pry open the back plate oh look at that yikes I can still see the moisture here on the computer there's definitely a lot of water that spills on it's still wet okay so the nothing has been dry it's still wet I can I can see that the water is still be everywhere here on the battery as well okay this doesn't look too good so this is the uh, hard drive here m.2 let's go ahead and remove that hopefully try to recover his data for him if I can looks like the hard drive is not wet at all all right so yeah if you're curious to know how to recover the data right from the m.2 um, ssd drive this is what i use here let me put it put it here on the desk this is what i use here this is actually a usb to m.2 nvme ssd drive all right so um i will have this item in the link uh, in the description below there should be a link that i'm going to put it on for you if you're trying to recover your data uh, i would the link would direct you to either amazon or ebay where you can buy this usb adapter okay so once you install this m.2 right and you can put a tape and tape onto it yeah you can put a tape and just kind of tape it like this just to hold the m.2 parallel with this uh, here okay or you can open up the screw which is the gold up uh, the, the gold uh, what do you call that the nub open up that and then insert the m.2 and secure uh, the drive once you have the drive secure plug this one into your different computer a computer that is working a windows computer of course so when you plug it in you don't have to install any driver whatsoever uh, this entire thing would act like a USB drive okay so you plug it into your computer you can see all your information right off this uh, adapter here okay so let's move on uh, definitely I can see the water spill and I'm not going to further the repair I think uh, it doesn't seem like it's only a small water spill it, it looks like it's a lot of water spill uh, that for sure tell me that one thing it needs to replace the keyboard right so if you look at this here I can see that the keyboard is actually a punch down keyboard meaning that the keyboard is not a separate component uh, you actually need to replace entirely of this plate right here so this entire plate you would have to replace for that keyboard okay together with the touch pad all right let's come down here for a little bit uh, as you can see the battery here is still wet a lot of water okay so that's how you remove the battery um, the the connector here you, you can just slide it down like push it down towards your body and that's how you remove the battery and the battery replacement model is AP18C8K okay um, you see the more I remove stuff I can see the more water into the computer um, yeah so I don't think uh, there's much I can do here for the repair uh, more likely the guy I would have to tell him that he needs a keyboard replacement with a palm rest and a touchpad all together uh, at the same time that would be the motherboard replacement as well uh, I believe the motherboard has water damage and at this point by the time I replace everything it's gonna cost him a lot more money than buying a new computer so um, I definitely would advise him if he needs the data I would use this uh, USB adapter to try to recover the data for him and then maybe transfer it to an external drive or transfer it to his new computer uh, in terms of you know if you ask me what can you do to salvage the parts uh, I can tell you that maybe the RAM is still good you can reuse the RAM but other than that there's nothing much uh, besides the LCD screen so um, 
for you who says, hey, I want to remove, okay, so this is hypothetically questions um, I'm trying to answer, you know, ahead of time uh, because I'm not going to make this video again. I don't have this laptop once I return the laptop back to the client. Uh, if you say how to replace the motherboard, uh, I'll tell you what to do, okay? So technically, you need to disconnect all the cables. So go ahead and disconnect this cable, right? Flip, open up the clipper, pull the cable, the flex cable. This is your CMOS battery, okay? So if you want to reset the time um, or maybe, you know, reset the BIOS or anything like that, disconnect the CMOS battery. That's how you're going to do it, right? So this one here, this cable right here is connected to this I.O. board, which is for your USB on the other side of the computer. So to remove the, uh, to disconnect this one, you just flip open the clipper and slide open that uh, flex cable here. So this is your Wi-Fi connector on the top here. It's white, at the bottom is black. Uh, to remove it, you simply just pull, pull upwards on this two cable. That's how you disconnect the, uh, uh, the cable uh, for this Wi-Fi here. Now, here is actually your keyboard, right? So uh, you can actually, what you do, you need to uh, open up this, remove this, this, what do you call this, uh, tape here. And then here you can see the black two side, left and right, <coughs> excuse me, slide it down. Okay, that's how you open the clipper, slide it down, not lift it up, slide it down, and then you can slide towards your body on this keyboard right here okay so this is your keyboard lighting I believe uh, what you can do is flip open the clipper and then pull this uh, cable down to disconnect it now um, here on the top right corner flip open the clipper the clipper flip it up about 90 degree angle and then slide that cable away from you that's how you disconnect the, uh, the LCD cable uh, at this point here, if you want to remove or replace the motherboard, uh, you just have to unscrew one, two, three, the fan. This is the CPU fan um, cable. Just if you're interested to know, that's how you remove it. And yeah, uh, that's how you remove or replace the motherboard and pretty much it. And for those of you who wants to replace the screen, uh, you have two ways to do it. I believe on this one here, you can unscrew the two screws here right and then lift open the hinge and that's how you slide to separate the entire uh, the keyboard and the LCD and f you can also what you can do is you can actually uh, replace the LCD by removing the bezel right so you pop open the bezel right pop it open like this and then just remove the LCD on its own sorry I'm not gonna make the video of this like I said you know the purpose of this is to diagnose where the water has gone to uh, the water damage is very severe so I'm not going to do any much more repair for him I believe that he needs the keyboard the touchpad as well as the motherboard replacement uh, which is a bummer so it's pr probably is better off for him to buy a new computer at this point rather than fixing it and buying all the parts so um, yeah if you like the video please uh, you know uh, click the like button subscribe to the channel uh, I really appreciate you for doing that and as well as um, if you have any question, you're not too sure what to do, uh, please comment below. I'm here to listen to your question and I'm here to answer you and help you with all your helps, uh, all the needs you need on the, about the computer. So take care. Until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.